So we picked the first one of the health beneficial ones, which is Lactobacillus chansoni 456. And that's our workhorse, our, um, our probiotic. Uh, and, but we have lots of others. We can go one by one and actually develop uh, second generation, third generation, and so on. Um, the next slide shows you that comet assay is significantly different, which is single strand breaks and micronuclei broken off uh, pieces of chromosomes are significantly different. And this is just with this one strain. So it's now not, not anymore a different uh, microbiota, it's just um, the health uh, uh, detrimental microbiota and this one strain added to it, just this one strain. Uh, there is uh, peripheral blood populations. Um, there is a huge reduction uh, in, uh, um, in uh, natural killer cells, um, which are inflammatory cells. There is a huge reduction, um, and this is in the spleen. The uh, one before was in the peripheral blood. There is a huge reduction in aside toxic T cells and natural killer cells, which are inflammatory cells and in the liver. So in a whole body response, there's a huge reduction in uh, cytotoxic T cell, natural kill, uh, killer cells and CD3 cells. Uh, then we have cytokines. Cytokines, uh, uh, um, they uh, influence the level of inflammation. There's inflammatory cytokines, they are hormones in the cells. Um, in, in the body. There's inflammatory cytokines and anti-inflammatory cytokines. So in the liver and the blood, we see uh, just this one bacteria by itself. It reduces inflammatory cytokines and it induces anti-inflammatory cytokines. So it's a whole body level uh, of inflammation reduction by this one strain. Um, then there is uh, a, a frequency of chromosome aberrations, which are all the significantly different, which are all the bad for you, which are all the causing cancer. And uh, this is our Lactobacillus only 456. Uh, it induces bacteria since it actually kills a bad bacteria. Uh, it kills Salmonella and pathogenic E. coli. Um, and uh, here we have uh, the microbiota modulates oxidative stress level inside the body and it's involved in um, inflammation. So obesity is a pro-inflammatory condition. We, we plan a clinical trial. We actually plan, have several clinical trials now with severely obese people where the inflammation goes down after four weeks of our bacteria. And inflammatory diseases are cancer, heart disease, neurodegenerative disease, uh, autism, arthritis, asthma, inflammatory bowel disease, Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, lupus, diabetes, fibrosis, arteriosclerosis, uh, aging, uh, and so on. So almost every, every uh, degenerative disease and cancer and so on have, uh, are, can be caused by inflammation. Um, then it's a lactobacillus, so it makes a beautiful yogurt. Uh, I've made kombucha, sauerkraut, and kefir with it. Uh, it, it makes all of those. Um, here we have a, a test for uh, acid uh, uh, sensitivity or resistance, and it's 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 uh, more resistant than any of the other strains, which which are in yogurt and other uh, probiotics, which we tested. Um, then we did a human clinical trial for how long it stays in the guts, and uh, this shows. So at day zero, we had no uh, uh, lactobacillus chansoni, and at uh, day seven, day 30, and day 60. At day 60, we still had a huge number of those lactobacillus uh, uh, cells in the, in the guts. So it stays longer than 60 days in the human guts, which is, uh, which is completely unique. No other probiotic, no other strain uh, will stay that long in the human guts. They just go through you. They might still be beneficial, but they don't stay in the guts and they're not as beneficial as mine. Mine reduces inflammation in the whole gut, uh, whole body, and it uh, stays more than 60 days in the human guts. And this is obvious because um, all the other strains are taken from wherever, from the milk, from the dirt, from, uh, from fruits, from fermented, uh, um, fermented uh, meat or whatever have you, fermented veg vegetables. 
uh, but none of them. So, so the intestines is actually a foreign environment for them. But mine is actually taken from the guts with a natural environment. They are actually um, adapted to this. And here you see we sequence the whole thing. And uh, there are six um, mucus binding proteins, which you can't see here, but you have, just have to believe me. And uh, uh, they bind to the intestinal wall. So, so they, they, they sit there and proliferate, and that's their uh, survival advantage in the human um, uh, mucus and human intestines. The next thing is a longevity uh, in yogurt, and we see here, so in the brown, you have a brown uh, uh, um, line, you have, and, and green line, you have uh, a, a normal um, uh, yogurt bacteria, uh, which you can culture and they are dead after 40 days and ours is still 100% uh, uh, viable after 230 days. Um, further development, uh, uh, industrial production in, in ProBioWay or thanks to H and Bioengineering, uh, more clinical trials are currently carried out for uh, different uh, um, uh, inflammatory diseases. Um, for uh, uh, inflammatory bowel disease, ulcerative colitis, asthma, arthritis. So those are, uh, we cannot uh, do a cancer prevention trial because that uh, takes 20 years to do, um, but we can do um, all the other diseases. And we also cannot do heart disease because it takes uh, about the same amount of time, but we can do all the other diseases <laughs> which are more on a sliding scale and which are uh, which can be prevented by my bacteria. Um, and since it, it, it's a huge prevention of, um, uh, of inflammation, it should also prevent um, lung inflammation. And 